Just before we get into that, what's the biggest mistake people make with their smoothies? I, I'm going to take a stab at it. I think it's putting way too much sugar in the smoothie, like too much fruit, like thinking that putting banana, like tropical fruits, like strawberries or mango or bananas in a smoothie because it tastes good is actually good for you. And people are thinking, great, I'm getting lots of vitamin A, vitamin, vitamin C and all these kind of things, but actually you're dumping a lot of sugar. Is that the biggest mistake pe- people make or is that, is that only one mistake? Well, that's, that's the biggest one that, that pops into my head. Another one would not be putting in protein. So if you have, let's say, banana and strawberry and oranges and mangoes and you blend it all together saying, oh my God, I have this healthy smoothie and it has all these vitamins and minerals. And yes, it does. But now without protein, it's not filling. It's basically like having uh, something as filling as a glass of milk, but then you'll probably want a meal as well. But you have 600 calories almost all from sugar. And so... That, that would be the biggest one. And number two would be not putting protein because at least if you put protein in there, it would be filling. So now it's more of a meal replacement or a solid snack than just this liquid to wash down your burger or pizza. Yeah. So people are drinking smoothies. They're like, oh yeah, I'm getting so many great vitamins and I don't need to supplement because I've got all this fruit in here. It can be a disaster. I mean, I remember actually when I lived in Hollywood back in the in probably about 2008, 2009, I went through a year there where I was making these morning smoothies thinking that I was super healthy and I just kept on, kept, kept on the weight. Like I couldn't uh, get rid of these extra pounds. I had no clue what was going on until someone pointed out. I was like, dude, you're putting like, like 60 grams of sugar in your system every morning when you wake up. And then I was fine. I was hungry later on, like you said. And so there was a Thai restaurant around the corner from my place that did these lunch specials. And they used to open at 1130. And I was like, I couldn't wait for 1130 to go around there to get the half fried chicken with the white rice. And I got a can of Diet Coke thinking that drinking the Diet Coke was going to, you know, was better than drinking Coke. And it was just like this vicious, vicious cycle. Exactly. And yeah, that's one of the biggest mistakes is that People just throw it in and they go to the store and they get these naked juices, which are horrible for you. If you turn, uh, turn around one of those naked juices, you'll see there's 50 or 60 grams of sugar. And this thing is tiny. Those naked uh, smoothies, those things are tiny. Uh, and remember, yeah, they're the worst. The brand yeah. Naked Juice is the worst. Like you, yeah. you see it and it's like their marketing on the thing is like, uh, apple and orange and great source of vitamins and vitamin C and all this kind of stuff. And then you turn it around, you look at the ingredients and it, like you said, it's like 50 grams of sugar. You may as well go and drink a can of Coke. Exactly. Yeah. A can of Coke has what, 45 or so grams of sugar in it. And the worst ones too, and they're so smart with the marketing, they'll have a green juice. They'll make sure the color is green because then you'll think, ah, vegetables, healthy. And you turn on the back, and there's one green ingredient in there, number listed number six or seven, but then there's all the orange juices and apple juices and everything else. So it tastes way better, but you think, oh, it's green, so it's healthy, it's vegetables, and it's just as bad. You really gotta watch out for that marketing. Sunset at Burning Man 2016, and you can see the sun is setting in the Nevada desert here. Burning Man is the annual festival where people come to 